Today we are going to the car salon. Um, for those living in the U.S., that would be the car dealership, you know, like Ford, GM, Chrysler, and whatnot. And, uh, oh yeah, look what I got at the junkyard. Good old-fashioned World War II, no doubt about that, Willie's Jeep. Now, you're probably wondering, what in the world did I get that for? Well, like I said, I don't have a proper 4x4 in my inventory. I already went to the auction twice, and I didn't see anything there. And uh, I'm not taking the straight six police car on the track. I mean, I got the tires in there so I can get around the track in the car. But uh, I think the 4x4 will do it better because it's got a, see, it's got differential in the front and the other. So this ought to be a little bit more stable going around. So that's what I got it for. And this is the auction car. Well, I don't know, man. Only 65. I don't think I got a great deal on this thing. Seems like when I had it out of the barnyard or junkyard, I got a better deal on it. Maybe it's not. I don't know what I'm being picky for. I got a million dollars, right? So, I don't think it really should matter. So, let's get over to the car salon. Before we do that, I'm pretty sure everybody's wondering the whole deal of my parking garage. So, we'll go ahead. I was kind of avoiding this because on this whole operating system, Win 7, this thing lags real, real bad. So I'm going to try to do a stay close to the cars and uh, not do a whole lot of walking around in there because of the amount of lag. But you'll you'll see the parking garage and that's what we're going to do real quick. Okay, so this is what it looks like. And let me lag us over here. Okay, that's mine. That's my 1969. This is my Karan. This is the one police car. I think this is the one with the straight six. Yep. And uh, we're going to run that one at the abandoned airport. Here's my derby car. So you can see that. Uh, we're going to run that on the test track. That there is my 1971. So I'm getting that. This here is my 1957. The bumpers are pulled on, so I ain't got a plate on it yet. But I already know it's mine. This was the 8 that we were running on. Then this over here is my Spectra. Turn this thing around. Here we go. Then we have this car. I think where some of the lag comes in is that these are the cars that come apart. And as you could already see from the work I've been doing, there are a lot of parts on them. So, what we're going to do is, is that we're going to uh, now head off to that car salon. So, here we are. This is the car salon. and Or the dealership. We can buy all the brand new cars. Build a dealership up with some exhaust. Now, there are no salespeople here. Hello, want to buy a car? Hello. Don't want to know what's going on in there. Could be bodies. Hello. Nobody want to give me a one-time loan, huh? <laughs> We'd like to buy, sell you a new car. Get out of here! No, no, seriously, no. This is where you go. They're just brand new cars that are here. And sometimes you come here, it's a different type, depending on what it is that you want. You can be able to look at them. Not like you jump into the engine compartment or take parts off of them. 
it just allows you to browse. You get an achievement if you buy one of these. And, you know, I'm practically, a, I'm basically a millionaire anyway, so it's not like I can't buy anything. But I'll be stuck with a car that I can't resell. Because as you can see, most of them are like 212 and whatnot. But eventually I'm going to have to come in here and buy one just so I can have the achievement. And I may have pretty much almost all that memory now. Like here, I could buy this maybe. Yeah, 173. I got over a million, so I, I could buy anything in here. It's just that I won't get the achievement. I noticed when I was playing offline, because uh, when I play offline, I'm like not even connected to the internet at all. And um, I had opened all the tools. And then later on, when I came online, I never got the acknowledgement for having all the tools. So I have all the tools, and I have no achievement to show it for. And that's how it's been for me right now. So I'm thinking I'm probably going to have to start another profile and build that up, which I have no intention on doing it now. So I want to wait first until I'm back online, and then I'll go ahead and buy the card just so that I can get the achievement and then get rid of it. Because none of these cards might taste anyhow. You already see what my taste is. But uh, that's what I think I'm going to do. I'll wait until I'm back online first. And then go ahead and uh, uh, buy a car. That way I can get the achievement for it. It's bad enough I can't get the other. But anyways, that's all there is to this place. Just come here, browse, look. Be a how much a guy. How much is it? <laughs> And not buy nothing. Open up stuff. Look at it. Jump inside. Start it up. Build the place up with exhaust. Not like there's anybody here. Hooky doke. Okay. Moving on. <laughs> 